Welcome guys to my page. Today's message. Fear is the war. Coronavirus, aka COVID-19. Fear is your war. Coronavirus, aka COVID-19. Right now you're saying everything right now trying to make you fear more and more each day and they're playing on your emotions to keep ratings and keep you tuning in I did a video yesterday talking about uh, separate your body from your consciousness so the whole battle right now is hiding your superhero powers from you let me explain what I mean by that you are a spirit but most people only look at themselves as their outside body so everything you see now is making you less of your spiritual being and letting your body take control over your consciousness level. Police, so we, one minute we're asking for uh, police brutality to end, and then the guns are being turned in by the police who are no longer want to be police. But people then get scared and say, who's going to protect us? So you're saying two different things. The people protecting you wasn't actually protecting you. They was brutalizing African-Americans, Hispanics, and even some Caucasians. So the ones turning their guns is part of the cleaning process of the new awakening the new world awakening coming also your media if they see a large gathering and it's not per the political party they'll say large gathering wear the mask and then the next day it'll be a it'll be something out that says coronavirus just spiked If your spirit, as I said in, in previous videos, how can you be sick? That's the body. You are to separate your body from your spirit, then there is no fear. So the fear, as I mentioned in another video, fear is money. They're making money off ratings off of you because you keep tuning in. When you control your life, but they're controlling your life. You should wake up in the morning. You should not have to tune on the news, the Facebook. You should be selfish to yourself to improve your life. So the battle right now you're seeing is all fear. That's the war. If you don't feed into the fear, the war goes away. It's that simple. So I have boycotted Facebook now for two days. And I'm going to keep going. Can you boycott Facebook or the news networks for even one day? That means your body controls the real you. As you think, you attract. So the only reason the coronavirus, a.k.a. COVID-19 exists is because of your belief. Faith is just belief. That's how the universe, nature works, is off how you think you attract, which is faith. If you start to improve your faith, 
then you don't want to uh, put a lot of that garbage in your life. You want to decrease it because it brings nothing but unhappiness, stress, and stress itself is, is the first thing that causes sickness. The satanic forces know how to manipulate your body to get to your consciousness. If you would simply take control of your consciousness over your body, you would see a drastic change on how you see things. You would be stronger. You would be happier because now you're turning into the new self. And that's another thing. How do you turn into the new self? You have to tune out everything and relearn. You can't be the old man. You can't stay as the old man and turn into the new man because your subconscious brain has voices and things that it will tell you as part of the old man. You have to stop listening to those voices that are part of your old man to become the new man. So right now, everything is about fear. I see, I mean, artificial intelligence that's working on your fear. Vaccines. They know people don't want vaccines. It's fear. Why the mask? Fear and hysteria. The whole war right now is fear. Satanic forces are hiding you from who you really are by keeping you in fear. If you're God, which you are, then there is no fear unless you command it. Everything in your life, you have commanded it by your actions. Actions create your reality. So you're, you're saying one thing, you want to end police brutality. Then when you see the guns turning, you're getting scared. Talking about who's going to pro You protect yourself. Does God worry about a weapon? So you shouldn't worry. Moses fought a whole nation with only a stick. Time after time, great prophets and great people fought, but they knew the power of their consciousness. Martin Luther King, did he have a gun? Did he have weapons? He knew the power of his conscience level. Malcolm X knew that the nation of Islam was out to kill him, but why did he not fear? Because he knew he was God. Because you don't die. The body is the thing that stays here. You're not that body. So what is your fear? Once you start to detach the fear from yourself, you become a greater, greater person. You start to find more enjoyment in life. You'll find more free time for yourself. And also the importance of meditation. Do you meditate? The, so there's prayer. Prayer is you're praying to the supreme being, the God of the universe, nature. I am. And that's, that's an appreciation that he lets you that he's given you all the things and all the powers that you have. But meditation is you with one with your consciousness. It's important to do that at least once a, once a day. That way you get a lot of answers. Because your consciousness is, that's how God works through you, is through yourself. Try it for a day or two. 
Meditation for 10 minutes. Turn on the alarm clock for 10 minutes and try to meditate for answers. When you meditate, you don't say anything. You only have just yourself. And you don't talk. You just simply, inside your conscious level, you're, you're communicating with yourself and you get great answers. When I do videos and a lot of other creative ideas, they come through meditation. And meditation, man, it, you get so many ideas. It makes a lot of sense. But uh, you guys take care. Remember, the war right now is a war of fear. Everything right now is fear. And the fear is yourself. Because you control, if you learn to control your body, then there is no fear. You realize that the body is separate from you. The body is not you. Man, by creating fear, makes you lose awareness of your real conscience self, which is your spirit. But you're not this body. Man constantly is trying to feed you fear to make you that body. You guys take care. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. I really thank you for listening to my video. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. This allow other viewers to let them know that what I shared with you was very helpful. Eliminate the fear and you see a drastic change of how the world looks to you. Take care.